Alright, what's up everyone? What you doing? I hope you're doing good. Today we have some news. First off, we have Saverant announcing their Rocket 4 Plus G PCIe Gen 4 SSD optimized for Microsoft's direct storage. So they're announcing their newest SSD here. And according to, according to Saverant here, this is PC, uh, not PCIe, it supports Microsoft's direct storage API. And we also have the pricing for these. Rocket 4 Plus G 1 terabyte coming at 169.99. Rocket 4 Plus G 2 terabyte is coming at 299.99 and Rocket 4 Plus G 4 terabyte 699.99. And they're having a gaming heatsink which I don't think you really need that but hey if you want it go for it. 29.99. They say it's gaming heatsink. Yeah, gaming. <laughs> Next up for today, we have Intel Arc 380 graphics having their own first water block? Wait a minute. A water block for an A380? Dude, this perform performs like a 6400. Why would this car need a water block in the first place? And also, not to mention, this is a 92 watts. 92 watts and you need water block for that i'm clueless but anyway it's coming and as you can see here it's igna 380x water block for the gunner arc a380 photon oc card again i don't see any point having this card with a water block like who would who would purchase this I'm clueless. I'm very much clueless. But anyway, it, it, it is a thing. It is a thing. So, yeah. I guess. Next up for today, we have Intel 24 core i9 3900K. The Raptor Lake CPU is also running at 6 GHz. I'm mentioning also because the i7 model was also running at 6 GHz. Now we're getting this news for the i9 model and as you can see in the screenshots here it's well running at 6 GHz in the CPU Z tool basically nothing surprising but the, there's a little bit more voltage compared to the i7 model right here as you can see 1.546 voltage in the screenshot you can also see that and it, it is also getting around 976 at 976 score in the CPU Z ST test and if you go down we'll find all the other metrics for the CPU as you can see it's running at 1.452 the temperature is 38 degrees MOS is 38 degrees also and the CPU is at 27 degrees so it is reaching 6.08 gigahertz and this is a 24 core CPU this time around so they went up in number and if we see the comparison here, i7 model got 983 on the single thread score, but i9 got 976, a little bit lower, but I think it's on par, basically. But we don't really know what the E cores here are running at. That information is, well, not found. Lastly for today, we have MSI teasing AMD's Ryzen 7000. CPU that is running at DDR5 6400 CL32 memory. So as you can see in the screenshot here, the DRAM frequency is 3202.7 MHz, basically 32. Uh, CL32, that's the cast latency, should be 32, and the MHz is 3202.7. That is the 60 core, 64, 64 gigabytes of DDR5 memory teased by MSI here and we can also see the CPU supports AMD Ryzen 7000 series desktop processor supports processor socket AM5 and the chipset is X670 and the memory modules here as shown below according to the rumors here as you can see here AMD is set to launch Ryzen 7000 series in September but we will be seeing more details of X670 
670 e motherboards this week on August 4th. I'm excited. So we'll see what AMD will bring in within their official showcase here during AMD Meet the Expert events. I'll be waiting for that. Alright, this is it for today. Hopefully you got some information about the upcoming tech that we'll be getting in the next two or three months, I believe. We'll get it we'll be getting a lot of stuff. So I'll I can't wait. Really. I can't wait for these info and Boy, it's gonna be a wild ride. It it it's always is. Anyway, have a good day.